All right, everyone, I am in rural Georgia. I'll show you where, like I usually do. Actually, I'm pretty close to Atlanta, as you can see. Not super close, we're still out in the country. Uh, but this is a, an interesting town. I'm in Harrelson. A uh, very small town, population 172. Peak population in this town was 1920, a little over 100 years ago. 176, so <laughs> the town has pretty much stayed the same size for quite a while. Uh, this is an interesting town though. Now, I'll tell you the numbers first. Per capita income is 26,200. Is my paper making all that noise? Median household income is 55,000 even. Median home values 182,000. It's really not that bad. Poverty level is 16.8. Median age is 48. Uh, this is an older town. But um don't be fooled. This town is very well known has, and has been seen many, many times. Now this is downtown. It is, yes, it is a small town. <laughs> it's got a downtown that's decrepit and abandoned. What few buildings are here. But uh, that is the reason this town was perfect for one of the uh, most watched television shows in history, The Walking Dead. Oh, did you hear that rooster? Yes, much of Walking Dead, beginning in season three, was filmed here. One of the uh, locations is right here. Much of the show was filmed right here. Let me turn around and show you something real quick. All right, I'm turning around. Uh, now, when you watch the season, uh, season three opening credits of The Walking Dead, there's a shot, fleeting shot. I'm gonna make that exact same shot right now. You can pull up the season three, there it is. Esco Feed Mill. I'm going much slower. Yeah, a lot of the uh, show was filmed here. You can see why. It lends itself to a uh, zombie apocalypse, doesn't it? Uh, it's pretty exciting for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to explore the town a little bit. I'm going to take another pass into this really small downtown. It, uh, it really does lend itself for making a zombie movie, though, doesn't it? Or a zombie TV show, in this case. Cut a left here. See what we can see down here. Right? You can picture zombies jumping out, can't you? <laughs> Real narrow street. The gloominess of the day really adds to it, I'm thinking. We had tornadoes in the area last night. It was quite the night for the wife and I. We we're actually staying in LaGrange, probably about 45 minutes from here. And uh, we decided to go to Walmart to get some supplies. So uh, we were driving across town and then the tornado watch came in on our phones. So we pulled into the parking lot at Walmart and then the tornado sirens started going off. Full blown all throughout the town. Let me tell you, it's kind of chilling, a little bit scary. So we go inside to Walmart. They're already shutting the Walmart down and and they are herding people into a uh, safe area and so they lock the doors we have to go into the back of the Walmart in this area that's safe from tornadoes and we get on we hear on the news that a tornado has touched ground about four miles away so uh, of course Nicole and I are going oh boy uh, we're there for 40 minutes and the tornado heads in a different direction. It doesn't come right to the Walmart. But I half jokingly say, well, I hope our hotel's there. 
Yeah, I should have kept my mouth shut. We get to the hotel and the touch uh, tornado went by there about maybe half a mile. Power's out at the hotel, so we had to endure a dark room for an hour or two. But uh, a lot of the homes were destroyed in the area. Not a lot, but there are a few homes. Of course, a lot of, a lot of trees down. I'm showing you some of the footage now. As out on the interstate, trees knocked over everywhere. As a, you know, I'm showing you a little bit of the sights here as I tell you this story. But anyway, yeah, it was a, it was a crazy thing. Anyway, uh, let's see. I think I showed you everything I want to show you here. Very small town. There's not a whole lot here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head to the next town now. Okay, everyone, I am entering the town of Woodbury. A pretty nice town. 2020, there were just over 5,000 people here. Per capita income is 42,600. Median household income is 99,100. That's really high. Poverty uh, rate is 6.8%, very low. Median age 36. Median house or home value is 312,200. So by all accounts, a very prosperous town at one time, but then not long ago, some sort of affliction affected the town. It's still not known what it was, but basically, although it killed the people, they're still able to walk around. And uh, the only way to finally uh, keep them from moving around, even though they were basically not alive anymore, they had to be shot in the head. It's really sad. No, I'm just kidding. This is the town of Sonoy. And this is the town that stood in for the fictional town of Woodbury in The Walking Dead. Uh, quite a bit of the show was filmed here. Quite a bit of film and TV is filmed here. Uh, let's see, uh, Fried Green Tomatoes, Driving Miss Daisy. Geez, what else? Footloose. Not the really good older one, but the newer one, which in my opinion is not that good. But anyway, and uh, the TV show, let's see, TV show Lawless, a bunch of stuff was filmed here. Uh, the town has basically been dressed as a film set for small town America. And uh, a lot of stuff is shot here now. I'm going to take another pass into the city center, give you another look. Why not? Now, uh, when I turn this corner here, you'll see that water tower. In the show, The Walking Dead, of course, the tower says Woodbury on it. Can you see it right there? Kind of in the middle frame now. Yeah, uh, you, I, those numbers I gave you were the actual ones. This is a very prosperous town because of all the filmmaking, TV and uh, motion picture. Of course, they've got lots of uh, Walking Dead stuff going on here. Check out that uh, <laughs> big moose on the wall there. That's cool. Uh, sure is a beautiful town. Uh, I've driven through it a little bit. I'm going to show you some of the neighborhoods. Beautiful homes everywhere. Yeah, in fact, why don't I uh, do that right now? But uh, yeah, first house right out of downtown. That's pretty normal for this town. Now I'd given you the population number for the town for 2020, a little over 5,000. I think it's like 5,200 50, now. But to give you an idea how fast the town has grown in the year 2000, just a little over 20 years ago, there are 1,700 people here. So it has, geez, close to tripled in size. And it's just filled with beautiful homes like this one here, like the one I just showed you also. And it's interesting because uh, they're building new homes all over this town. Um, and so you'll drive down a street and you'll see them, the way they're building them, and they really fit the old architecture in, in the way they're designed. There, here's one right here. 
This is a newer, bunch of newer homes here that they've just built. And um, they are beautiful. Look at them. These are all over. I passed four or five streets just like this. Very representative of the town, but you can see the architecture is is made to, uh, I mean, look like an older town. And some of these homes are huge. Look at that one. It's a huge home. Really nice. You can definitely see that this is not a poor town. What I say the median household income was 99100 uh, across the USA, the average is 78,000. So it's well above the U.S. Uh, the U.S.'s average. The incomes here. Meanwhile, the uh, cost of living is still, I want to say, around 20% lower than the country on average. So that all adds up to. Well, you you can get a really nice house here. And. And let's not kid ourselves though. The incomes are really good. I mean, look at these. These are beautiful. I can't even find a bad part of town. I usually like to show a little bit of both, but uh, everything here is real nice. It's got that Hollywood mo uh, money coming in. Beautiful homes. Yeah, I'm heading back into downtown now. You can see the uh, town, the water tower up to the left again there the town of Woodbury you see it right there I think uh, that's enough for here uh, I'm gonna head to the next town I'm entering the town of Sharpsburg let's see population 327 so it's very small I, uh, looks like I'm heading into the downtown right now. Arrive at Sharpsburg. Well, thank you, Australian Siri. She has announced our arrival. Yeah, here's downtown. It's, uh, kind of looks like it's abandoned, doesn't it? Really not much happening here. None of these buildings are in use. It doesn't look like. Okay, everyone, I'm entering the town of Grantville. This town also was a prime location for The Walking Dead. Uh, you can see why, can't you? <laughs> it's kind of creepy looking. Uh, the producers needed a town that was decrepit and quite frankly looked post-apocalypse so that's a lot of stuff uh, they came to this town the town is already like that they didn't have to do much in the way of uh, production design just a little bit of set dressing and uh, boom post-apocalypse town I'm entering the downtown right now. And I'm going to show you. It's pretty amazing. See this away with you. You remember that probably in the show. Yeah, the town has been dying for a long time, even though it's had a bit of a resurgence because of the TV show. Yeah, I'm going to come up here and stop. And I'll flash a... Uh, still on the screen yeah from right here uh, big scenes were filmed right here just let me stop and I'll cut a picture in right here yeah so uh, quite a bit filmed right here population of the town by the way is 3,100 uh, it was a lot lower than that but like I said the town has been a little bit rejuvenated by the uh, TV show. Several movies filmed here also. And uh, I was reading there's a couple of new shows that are going to be filmed here. So they're still getting quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of that Hollywood movie or Hollywood money in here. I'm going to 
turn around again here. Got an old Dollar General, but wow, look at that next to the Dollar General. That's a lot of stuff over there that somebody's got. I guess it's kind of a flea market or something. Huh. An old house here. That's a really old house right there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Interesting neighborhoods. Really interesting town already. Anyway, I'm gonna turn around and go back through downtown from a different direction. Tell you more about, uh, uh, the, more about the place. Let's see, I didn't tell you uh, what day it was yet. It's Friday. January 13th. So it's Friday the 13th. Oh boy. Real gloomy in the 40s. It was in the 70s in this area yesterday. But uh, that cold front moved in over that warm air, which of course caused the tornadoes. And it's kind of, uh, kind of crummy today. Anyway, uh, here's another look. In the downtown now some of the stats per capita income 24,900 median household income is 66,900 which is pretty decent this uh, movie money and TV movie is or money is definitely made the town more prosperous median home values are 183,008 or I'm sorry 140,400 So, let me look around a little bit. See what else is here. Just kind of driving into the neighborhood outside of downtown. Look at this old church. And uh, I don't believe it's in operation because look at the sign. Oh, no, that's just a bell. Yeah, it's probably uh, in operation, if you will. Huh. Well... Yeah, let's uh, look around a little bit. It really does look post-apocalyptic in places, though. Look at that. If you're shooting a, a zombie show, you wouldn't have to even change that sign. It looks perfect the way it is. Wow, that is, if that is a home, that is a very small one. That's one of the smallest houses I will have ever seen. Wow. Okay. We'll look around a little bit more. Wow. I'm thinking most of these homes are, are people aren't living in them, but I mean, it totally looks like a zombie set, doesn't it? Try to give you a look at everything. Woo! Wow. Now somebody lives in this one, obviously. Oh, well, that was something. Very narrow streets in this town. The Broncos barely staying on the road. Wow. What an interesting place. Perfect for shooting a zombie TV show, isn't it? Huh? Well, let's see what else I can find here. And yeah, something. Old, old buildings. When these were new, uh, these were something to see, I can tell you. Architecture's actually really good. Kind of amazing. All right, I'm out on foot. Just a quick another look at the downtown. Uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, we're going to head to Augusta next, so be looking for that.